Swag. 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 Average homeboys going in. Let me tell you a little story about a man named Joe. Serving life in prison with no chance of parole. He was out on Pensacola with a couple of buds. That kind of tough and hardcore like they were two box thugs. Broke into a house, stole some coins and some jewels. They went ham on our house, like there weren't any rules. She came home, he went back, and he beat her and raped her. I'm so fly, then he ate her feet round like their paper. The lady called the police and gave them a description of the boy who raped her and the stuff that was missing. I say boy for a reason, the kid was only 13, but no matter his age, it was still a crime scene. Even though he was young, they tried him as an adult. They attacked him so hard, it was a courtroom assault. If he wants to walk free, he better start praying like Tebow. He's got as much chance as Shaq is making a free throw. The judge had decided to be sentenced to death. He committed a crime, and now his life is a mess. But it was appealed that instead they gave him life in prison. They tried to plead innocent, but the jury wouldn't listen. They should have treated him like a kid from the very beginning. It's like ending the game when you're only in the second inning. The only thing they had against him was the old lady's word. The fact that they convicted him is completely absurd. You need stone cold facts if you want to lock him away. As of right now, he's as innocent as OJ. If I were the judge, I would have set the kid free. By a prison new kid who doesn't even have an ID. They had no sure proof that he committed the crime. You want to put him away? Well, there's always next time. In the end, they were wrong to lock Joe away. That's all for now. What's MC Blake Page got to say? Swag, swag, swag. MC Blank Page, going in. 603, till I die. Let me tell you the story of Edgar Cocker, who tried to rape a woman, but got caught by the coppers. The girl was only 14, she wanted attention. When she tried, when she told the cops, Mr. Cocker got more than a detention. Cocker was only 15 and didn't know how to act. They told him to plead guilty, even though they didn't have all the facts. 17 months is what he got. Suddenly his life wasn't looking so hot. Seemed like he was destined to go for down below. Man, Edgar Cocker ain't no Tim Tebow. After a while, the girl admitted she was wrong. Turns out, Mr. Cocker was innocent all along. If I were the judge, I'd have looked for more details, instead of just believing the words of the females. A faulty confession was the evidence at the trial, and for that, Mr. Cocker had to go away for a while. He may have avoided being tried as an adult, but the judge still found him at fault. Busted those rhymes without a hitch. Average homeboys, up in this witch! Stay tuned for Average Homeboys, upcoming album dropping February 16th, featuring such hits as It's a No Reaster out there, The Snowplow Man, Welcome to Our Suburban Neighborhood, I Milk My Cow. Swag. Swag.